is here, y'all. So I am fresh from workout. Excuse the mess. Um, but I got my box and I'm gonna open it. First things first, what I like to talk about is packaging. I'm always so critical on the way things are packaged. I'm all about, you know, you putting your logo on the outside of the box, call of action things. They have both. I know this isn't important, but it's important to me. So I like this right here where it says blow your mind and not your hair. Come on y'all, I love that. They have a call to action on their sticker, which says get ready you're going to want to share this. So now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna open up this box and just start pulling stuff out. Always close your knife. Right on the top, we have our instructions. It says save these instructions and then a quick guide, which was which will be the quick guide where it's a quick setup thing. Hold on a second while I figured this out. All right, figured it out. I got it. I got it. I'm okay. I'm okay. So the first thing, let me open this up to find out what it is. I wonder if this is the stand thing. Yeah. This is a little stand. It's very, very sturdy. It reminds me of, it reminds me of my old mic stand <laughs> that I used to use for my voiceovers. It's like really sturdy at the bottom and it's not top heavy, so it's like definitely solid. So I'm gonna sit this little guy right here. It has this little bag that I might be using. So everything is in here packaged very well um, so it doesn't move around. What in the world did I just do? I'm okay. We're all right. Hold the wrong thing. We're okay. All right. So then we have this part that's very significant when you see it you know it's a red air so it has this very long cord it's a, there's a lot going on here <laughs> it's a lot okay i'm gonna go get a table hold on a second okay a little overwhelming what i will say though first and foremost the hose is very stiff so but it makes it hard it makes it hard for you to move it around because then you're gonna knock over this part and hurt it you know what i'm gonna do and take it off there problem solved now i'm going to pull it out of this little little bag it's very pretty all righty it's out of this little baggy my first impression is I like that there's little feet on it and it's not slipping and sliding everywhere. That's pretty cool. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of, I like way back in the day, like when my daughter was about like five or six, we bought her this little tiny vacuum cleaner <laughs> to play with. And um, this is what it looked like. And it had this little wire and it went around. Okay, I'm sorry. Moving on. So anyway, I'm going to take these plastic thingies off of it, take the paper off of it, give the instructions a once over or a twice over, and then I'll be back. I have to go take a shower, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take down my hair because I have crochet braids in. What time is it? So I'm going to take these down and I'm going to get my braids out and I'm going to go and wash my hair and condition it. And I'm gonna come back with some damp hair and then we're gonna try this out. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm doing. Yay. So I have washed and dried, washed and dried. <laughs> That's the whole point of this video. I washed and conditioned my hair. It's damp right now. I decided to put my um preferred moisturizer in it and two strand twist it so that it will absorb into my hair instead of it being absorbed into the rev air if that makes any sense now i have it like damp but i'm gonna spray it just a little bit i am going to look over this machine look over this um these directions because what? of course we have the quick start guide here 
and basically with the quick start guide it basically gives you the once over of the machine itself it tells you how to get your filter out uh-huh that's where the power is uh -huh. okay yeah mm -hmm. yeah some people have been putting the rev air onto their two strand twist which is what i think i'm going to do i might take each strand you know each twist and i'll put my heat protectant on it one thing i did notice um that i'm not a fan of so when i got my rev air the wire was looped around this little contraption and it has a little you wrap it around and you stick it into these little notches here well when i pulled it out of the notch i noticed i'm not really a fan of it is that it bent the wire significantly so as you can see it's like it's got a little bend on it and then both sides has a little notch cut into it yeah i'm not really a fan of that but i don't think i'm going to be using the little notches the notches are a little too tight so i'm going to plug this little thing in of course and it has the, the test and reset buttons on it which is really cool for making sure you don't trip a breaker speaking about tripping a breaker let me make sure i don't have anything on in the winter time i have to worry about it because i have a little personal heater sometimes with me but um i don't have that going obviously it is august and it's hot as blazes outside got my little rev air situation it holds that holds in there like that um so i'm going to sit that on my little table over here so the number two of course the, you have these different settings this middle one is supposed to be the cool setting and the one is supposed to be a low setting so of course the two is a high setting and the one is a low setting but according to these directions it doesn't give you how many degrees it is that's a problem so this one dial which is the one on the bottom here that one is a low temperature of 400 watts or 211 degrees fahrenheit and then this two which is the top setting up here that is a wattage of 800 watts and it's 422 degrees Fahrenheit. So, and then of course, the zero in the middle there is the cold setting. So, this is not to turn it on and off. This is just the high, low heat, and then the middle for the cold setting. So, of course, on the top, you got the, you know, the on and off button. You can't really see it because the, the handle is blocking it but there's an on off switch underneath here then on the other side this is the dial that controls the tension on the, or the pull of it and so i think when i was looking at everyone else's video that a lot of people keep it at two to three um and i think i'm going to do the same thing um and then you have then you have this little button here thing that the little lock switch that pulls out the filter and takes off the little hose thing. So I want to connect that and lock it into place. So I'm going to put my little hose on. You have these, you know, you have the little fittings. So it fits a certain way. Put it on that certain way and then you turn it to lock it into place so it can't come out. First, I'm going to start with the front here. I'm nervous. I'm just going to spray my heat protectant. This stuff right here stinks to all high heaven, but I'm not going to complain about it. It's protecting my hair. All I can ask for from it. So I have my heat protectant on. Okay, so we're going to turn it on. Okay. That didn't work. So we're going to start by turning it on. Oh my god, it didn't even turn on. Do I have this thing plugged in? Okay. 
Okay, so you turn it on. And then when you turn it on, this lights up as you can see. Interesting, it doesn't turn on immediately. So it only turns on, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna take the lowest setting first and then I'm going to put it on two, and when I put it on two, it's gonna start the dryer. Yeah. That's loud. Super loud. My first impression is that it is um like my hair is fairly dry now just that one little piece um first impression I would say is that it's hot but you don't feel it at all which I think is pretty dope so my next step what I'm gonna do is I'm going to untwist these and then I'm going to um, do it again Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. It's dry and it's like very moisturized. Like, like this is the most moisturized I've ever had in my hair. Like this really, um, yeah, I'm going to do a couple and then we're going to, um, I'm just going to fast forward through this and just to see what is gonna happen. Okay, hold on. So, 30 seconds later, and this is, look at the, okay, look at my lighting and how much is shining on this Oh my goodness, my hair is so shiny. Like my hair is the shiniest it's ever have been. Like this is, okay, this is this is legit. I'm just gonna say, this is legit. So I'm going to do a couple where I do dry, I'll do 30 seconds on my twist. When it's twisted, I'll do 30 seconds on two, on the wand, two heat, and two tension. And then I'm going to do another 30 seconds. Um, you don't want to exceed a minute, I was told. So I'm going to do my heat protectant on my, on my twist. Okay. Look at this shine. I've never had this kind of shine um, on my hair ever blow drying it. I will say that. So let me do this one side and I'll come back. All right, so it has been about, it's been about 20 minutes. I did 20 minutes on this on this side and then I'm gonna do 20 minutes on this side. But you know what's really cool about this? My hair has never been this soft after blow drying. I will say that when I will blow dry with just a regular blow dryer or even I went a little bit further and I had I have this blow dryer. I'm just gonna be honest. When I would blow dry my hair with that after I get done, my hair is crinkly and I'm like, it's straight, but um, 
it looks like it's dying so what I did notice that when I got done with this I mean look at the bounce look how it just blink I mean my hair never done that and without like you know sometimes when you you touch your hair after you blow dried it when you would touch it you would hear the crunching sound none of that it is so so soft and I haven't had my hair this long and soft like ever you can see the shine on it like look at that shine and never have a shine after a blow dry like come on now girl never you know what this smells like oh god this smells like either axe spray or like old spice i remember i had an ex-boyfriend who had he would bathe in old spice and i'd be like do you like take a shower or do you just spray that on he said yes yeah it's a very strong smell and i hate it sorry you guys but it does its job so i'm gonna finish my hair and then i'm gonna give my closing thoughts okay so my final thoughts on this is that it is a very wonderful product and we're talking about somebody who I've had a lot of hair dryers in my life um I've had the brush hair dryers I had the regular red hair dryers with the little comb attachment um all that stuff and this is like the top of the top when it comes to hair dryers and I'll tell you what, after using all those for so many years and then coming and using this, you could definitely tell a difference. But in my opinion, $400 is a little bit steep. Just telling you, just saying it, just just laying it out there, just regurgitating that to you, that $400 is a bit, bit much. Justification for $400 is, for me, is a little slim. Um, but I will say that, um, I do love the product. Um, but since we saved our money up to get it, um, so that it can take like a good, it'll take like a good two hours off of my two hours. Yes. It takes me that long to blow dry my hair. And then on top of all of that, you have to experience the, the breakage that happens afterwards. So I'm not about that life anymore. So I'm like, I'm on a quest now to stop being so rough on my hair. Not doing that anymore. But I will say with this Rev Air that it is a very wonderful product. Oh, I didn't talk about these little hair tie things. These hair tie things are pretty, pretty awesome. I like these a lot. They slip, it's made out of ribbon, so it just slips right out of your hair. When it comes to the Rev Air product, I really, I really love it. I don't think I would go to anything else after that. Um, it's just, now it's kind of hard to do that. So, hope this video was helpful to you. I hope I, I hope it was informative and it helped you to make the decision on whether to get a Rev Air or not. Um, but other than that, Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated my little review on this product and as always thank you so much for watching oh and be sure to subscribe